Greetings. Welcome to this Getting Started U-Doodle tutorial. I'm going to show you how to draw on top of an image, and I'm going to show you how to edit an image. First thing we want to do is draw on top of an image. To do that, pick the image icon, which is third from the left on the bottom, right there. I want to pick a new background because I want to draw on top of a photo rather than edit the photo. So I'll pick new background. And you have a lot of choices of where you want to load your photo from. I'm going to pick Flickr. So my daughter drew this cute image. So I'm going to pick that. To pick a photo, you can either double tap or tap done. And I prefer to double tap. You have a lot of options in this crop view. You can rotate your photo flip the photo horizontally or vertically. You have some pre-built aspect ratios for cropping as well. I'm going to leave the entire photo though. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a draw tool here. I'm going to pick the brush. There's a lot of different patterns here. I'm going to pick this kind of crystal like pattern. I'm going to start drawing on this photo here. And let's say I didn't like what I drew, and I wanted to start erasing some of it. I could pick the eraser tool there, start drawing, and you notice how it only erases what I drew. It's not actually erasing the photo, which is great. That lets me draw on top of a photo, change my drawing, fix up mistakes without messing up the images in the background. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to edit a photo. So to do that, image icon again, third from the left on the bottom. I'm going to pick new foreground because I want to edit this photo. I'll go back to Flickr. I'll go ahead and pick the same photo again. This time it'll be on the foreground. Now you'll notice if I start using the eraser tool, we get transparency underneath. And that's because we're actually modifying the actual image. The same thing as if I use the brush tool. I start drawing. And then if I try and erase that, it's going to actually change the image. Luckily, we've got undo and redo arrows here, which let you undo or redo an action, which comes in very handy. I'll just quickly show some of the other draw tools that work on the image. The flood fill is kind of interesting. You can change pieces of your image. Let's say I want this horse to have a different pattern. You can do a flood fill and it will color your horse. Now to zoom in and out, you can double tap or use two fingers. When you want to pan your image, you use two fingers and move the image around. And then I single tap to fill in an area. And once again, I can undo and redo. Another cool tool in the app is the recolor tool. And that simply changes an area's color without actually changing the image. So I'll give you a demonstration of that. You can see how the image is turning blue, but the actual texture of the image stays the same. A couple of other tools I'll go through is the smudge tool. It kind of acts like a paintbrush going over the image. Some interesting things you can do with that. We have the blur tool in case you have a face you want to blot out or a logo or anything else. We have a scissors tool which is kind of interesting. Let's say you wanted to cut out somebody's head. The scissors tool would be a great tool for that. Once you're done drawing the outline of where you want to cut out, you can single tap and either cut or copy. I'm going to go ahead and copy because I want to just make a copy of the face here. And then when you're ready, you can single tap and paste. And now I have a copy of that face. I could put it somewhere else. 
I could put it over the top of the horse, which would be mm. kind of funny. And then the last tool I'm going to go over is the clone stamp tool. Now the clone stamp tool basically lets you draw part of your image somewhere else, which has a lot of interesting implications. So let's say I wanted to put this snowflake somewhere else. I can either single tap to stamp snowflakes everywhere, or I can drag my finger to clone that part of the image. And that's the getting started tutorial for you, Doodle. Um, the possibilities are endless, so get creative. Thank you.